Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This morning, we're gonna test out this thing right here. This is the giant squid. And yes, we actually already tested this, but this one's different because this is a special prototype and I am the only one in the whole entire world that has this thing. So when you order a Binax Gamma 602 from Solo Satoshi, it comes like this right here. It's got this dark horse heat sink upgrade. Now this thing is designed specifically for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some assembly. I'm gonna swap out the body of the squid here. Kinda looks like a squid, I guess. Maybe it would go that way, I don't know. Um, and then we're gonna get some numbers. So we're gonna compare it to a stock Gamma 602, and we're also gonna compare it to this thing right here to see how the special Dark Horse Solo Satoshi version prototype performs. And I'm hoping it does pretty well. I printed this in clear. My wife said it looks like styrofoam, but I think it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, so that's the deal, I don't know. We'll get this thing all assembled and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I already tested this thing in stock configuration, so I'm not gonna do that whole thing again. We already have the numbers and we know exactly what it is there, so no need to repeat that test. Now in stock configuration, as these things come from Solo Satoshi, our temperature was about 62 degrees, that was our ASIC temperature, and 62 degrees on the VR temperature. So 62 and 62, now that's how it comes when it arrives from Solo Satoshi and you plug the thing in, you turn the frequency up to 625 and the core voltage up to 1250, you're gonna see 62 and 62. So that's our baseline numbers there. So we got that, we know what it is, we're good to go. With the current version of the Giant Squid, we're at 63 and 55, so definitely seeing an improvement on the VR side. Uh, just, you know, about one degree hotter on the ASIC side. Now we're gonna see what happens with the prototype. This video is gonna be short and sweet today, baby. Short and sweet. Okay, so check this out. The fitment here is perfect. There's like one millimeter of clearance. It looks, uh, it looks really good. I think this is gonna test a lot better. You know, as John reminded me, you're not supposed to use furniture bolts, but I had these handy, so you know what, they work. Let's go ahead and get this thing all connected and see how she performs. So we're all connected and we are mining away. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about with any of this stuff, let me just explain real fast. So basically the giant squid exists to cool down a Binax Gamma Bitcoin miner. It's a small desktop miner that mines all day, every day, trying to solve a Bitcoin block. Now, just yesterday, one of these little miners actually managed to solve a block, and the miner was rewarded 3.125 Bitcoins, which is worth like $345,000. Now, whenever this happens, people get really excited, and the sales of these products or devices is going up like crazy, and the community is growing. There's also a large subset of the group that likes to take and modify these things to squeeze a little more power out of them, and that's what this is all about. Now, there's actually two reasons that you want to cool down your device. Number one, so you can overclock it, so push it past those kind of default settings and squeeze a little bit more power out of it. Number two, you just wanna get some more longevity out of the components. So you've got these voltage regulators and these chips, and the cooler they are, chances are the longer they're gonna last. So you'll have more time to let your little miner do its thing and hopefully one day it solves a block and you wake up in the morning and realize you're $350,000 richer. So that's kind of the idea. But anyway, we're all connected. We have the Giant Squid Dark Horse Solo Satoshi prototype. This has nothing to do with Solo Satoshi, by the way. Uh, it just happens to work with the miners that they sell. So that's why I'm bringing up Solo Satoshi. But it's doing its thing right now and let's take a look at the temperatures. So our ASIC temp is gonna be 60 degrees. So we are two degrees cooler than we were in stock configuration. The voltage regulator temperature is more impressive though. Now right there, we're gonna see a temperature of 53 degrees Celsius. That is nine degrees cooler than it was in stock configuration. So when you order one from Solo Satoshi, you plug it in out of the box. What we saw in our initial testing was ASICs were about 62 degrees. Voltage regulators were also about 62 degrees. Now we're seeing a significant improvement, especially on the VR side. Again, 53 degrees, so we are nine degrees cooler there, and we're a couple of degrees cooler on the ASIC side. So nothing crazy, you know, it's not, uh, not 20 degrees cooler, but it is enough to, I think, extend the life of the components. And, you know, again, it allows you to overclock a little bit and push it a little bit further without worrying about, you know, damaging your device. So that's pretty much that. This one does perform a lot better. Again, I'm still of the opinion that if you put a 1900 RPM fan on this thing, you're gonna get a better result. Um, I'm still waiting on my 19, 1900 RPM knock to a fan to show up. When it does, I'll maybe run some more tests. I'll just do it like an Instagram or a uh, YouTube short rather, just to show you the latest and greatest so I don't have to continue making giant squid 
uh, test videos. But overall, I'm really happy with this thing. Again, I think it looks really cool. Uh, I'm really happy that John made one specifically for the Dark Horse. And not surprisingly, you know, it imp it's an improvement and it performs better than the version that I was using prior to this, which was just more of kind of like a generic version. Um, pretty much the same thing, the duck just didn't extend quite all the way to the board the way that this one does here. So that one's a perfect fit. It looks like it's made for this specific gamma because it is, and it, uh, it works really well. So anyway, if you're interested in these, there's a link down below in the description. Here in a few days, I think John will have the Dark Horse version available for sale on the site, so you can keep an eye on that. Hopefully there will be one soon. Uh, otherwise, there are a lot of different options, and he also sells some heat sinks too. I know the, uh, the North Bridge is one he's tested a lot. He sells those, and so you can buy the Giant Squid kit. You can also buy the Giant Squid heat sink, or not uh, Giant Squid heat sink, but the North Bridge heat sink, and those, th those two kind of couple together really well. It's even a better fit than the Dark Horse because of the shape of the thing. You can see what I mean if you go to the website and check out the photos. But that's all I've got for today. This test was a success. I'm uh, really happy to be working with John on this stuff. This is totally his creation and his design. I'm just doing some testing for him. I happen to have a uh, Dark Horse heat sink and I have a 3D printer. And so we're kind of collaborating on just trying to improve some of his existing products. So that's pretty much the deal. If you have any questions about this stuff, let me know. Uh, if you have a question that I can't answer, I'm happy to forward you along to John. He's the guy with all the answers since he created the giant squid. And that's pretty much all I got. So thanks for tuning into the channel today. Also, make sure to check out uh, my latest YouTube. I think it's a couple back, actually. My second to last YouTube short. We're doing a giveaway of one of these gammas. And so if you want to win one, go check that out. Leave a comment and subscribe. It gives you a chance to win. And then, you know, we'll just send one of these things to your house. And you can start your mining activity. Or you can grow your little mining farm if you're already doing this and you have a few of these devices already. Everybody wants one more. Why not? Uh, you know, you can run the thing on 25 watts. So it doesn't cost you anything. A few cents a day. And it increases your chance of getting that Bitcoin block. So that's all I got for today. Thanks for tuning in. And I will see you next time.